having to play by the play by the fucking rules and you know play by everybody else's rules would make me have an ego towards people because it's like all right if i'm playing by the rules and i did a b and c and i i accomplished this i accomplished that there's no way i'm fucking letting that person play you know the same show as me you know like and it shouldn't be like that you know because that's what takes you out of it that's what you know causes divide and you know the community just goes to shit you know and it's happened it's happened to me and it's a huge problem but like that's why now i'm i reach out to everybody I follow everybody. I fucking repost people's shit. If I think it's dope, I'll repost it. If people DM me, I have a conversation. Even if it's a simple message back, like I'm I'm going to respond when I can respond. And like, it's not about me. It's about the music. It's about the community. Like we've had this conversation. I'm at the point in my life where I do not need to fucking do this. I do not. I do it because I love doing it. I have fun. I fucking enjoy it. It gives me joy to do this shit. But I... Not for one second do I need this fucking musical career. Like, I don't. It's it's not it's not a necessity for my path. But I love doing this shit. And I see all the guys, these fucking young kids, and, and not even just young kids. It's kids in their 20s, kids in their 30s. Like, I'm 40 now. Like, I see them working hard, busting their ass, and making dope shit. And, like, they need the representation. And if I could drop knowledge, and if I could fucking share any of their information, have a conversation... You know, all these types of things that we're doing with the channel and shit. Like, if I could do that and it fucking pushes the community farther, I'm going to fucking do it. Every time. Every time. And it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not here for the bullshit. I'm not. And, and that's another thing. You come up to the platform and you fucking lying about shit. Yo, Jay-Z said it, said it best. He said, if you bark up that tree, that tree will fall on you. Like... People are watching these things. And I'm not saying that shit to like stroke my own fucking dick. Like people are watching this. It don't matter what the views say. These mm. things are getting to the right people. So if you yeah, say something, are. if Slowly. I interview you and you say something that's not fucking true, somebody's going to find out. You know, somebody's going to see it. You know, these things come back <laughs> in my DMs. Like I'm not here for the bullshit. I'm not here to fucking feed negativity. I'm not here to fucking promote information that, is in, that isn't true. That's the other thing. I'm not here to promote false information either too. So like you coming up to the platform, I'm not saying you, I know I'm staring at you, uh, you know, you like in the camera. Like if you come up here and you fucking talking shit and saying things that are not true, bro, like that shit is going to come back. So please like keep that bullshit to yourself, you know? Yeah. No, of course. And that takes away from the community. Like, I hate that shit, man. Like, it, it the, the, the nonsense, is the negativity, the lies, like, it takes away from what you know, we're trying to build. That's always going to exist, man. I'm sure, like, I'm sure there's thousands, thousands of, of podcasters who have guests on their fucking show and find out a month later they're full sure. shit and, like, delete the episode or, like, it's like damn, like I actually seen that before. I seen I I watched this is a while ago. I watched a I was listening to a podcast, it was really great. And like two weeks later, they took it down and they've sent a message. They're like, Yeah, you know, there's false information in here, and we don't want to prov promote false information, negativity. That's just like the name of the game. And like, like you said, we're not here for the bullshit. And the whole point of this isn't it's not ego driven from our perspective. We don't need to do this at all. I love Moombatone. I've done so many things for Moombatone. I, I I love making it still on my free time, but I, I also have a life and other side projects and other musical endeavors. Like, but I'm here because I still am passionate about this movement. And I do want to see it one day get to where it deserves to be. Not for my sake though. For sure. Right? For sure. But it's it's just gotten to the point where Still seeing it be where it is now is frustrating, but I'm also inspired because of hearing what these like global like group of artists are producing and putting out that like I don't even know these people. They, they don't even know me. It doesn't even matter, but like it's super inspiring to hear these types of sounds in people's music, Mumba tone almost inspiring people and kind of maybe potentially leading to a resurgence right i would love to see that but i just want to be there on the sidelines doing what i can to make sure it's going in the right direction for sure and not just like bro 
Skrillex played my track. Game over. I'm going <laughs> to retire as next we, week. As we circle back to the right? beginning of the conversation. And, yeah. and again, it's fucking awesome. I, I've celebrated those accomplishments myself when bigger acts supported me on a main stage or whatever, and I got video. Incredible. I, ne- I never heard from, like, never received an email from these dudes, never received a DM from these dudes, never re- not even a fucking tweet when I'm thanking them for supporting the track. Like, you know, every artist is different, you know. But, like, that was fucking discouraging. For sure. It was, like, exciting, but discouraging. That I was, like, I'm, I'm reaching out to this dude just to say, yo, man, like, thank you for playing my track. And then just, like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all, that's all I'm saying. Like, sure. as two people who've been around Mumatone and, and have done a lot to facilitate its growth and do individual things on our own musical journeys and path, I feel like we're maybe two people to be in a good position to objectively, with our own opinions, but objectively come here, have these conversations, have these conversations between you and I, between new up-and-coming artists, OG artists, and just kind of just put it all out there and bring it all home. Yeah. Right? Not like... Like, we're not starting a Moombatone label. We're not starting a (laughs) Moombatone, like team or group or party yeah yeah like we're just representing Mumatone. period nothing else is involved right and it's just like how let us help you type of type of deal right like like what what do you what how can we support yeah right how can we inspire you to push it to the next level how can we inspire you to to do something set your bar a little bit higher than just support how about Instead of just getting support from a track being played, direct fucking support for that artist that you want to open for, right? Or that you want to like, that you and, and inspire again, to be, right? And even that, that's not like the easiest thing. It's not either. But that that should be a bigger goal that than just be. like, I played my song and I mm. recorded it with my phone, you know? like Because again, it it's, it's all about taking it to the next level. So it's like, if you're doing this and you have the same passion, and this goes for the people who are doing this with the passion of... I love Mubaton, you know, because I've talked to these people all the time. Like on a daily basis, I talk yeah. to people who love Mubaton. Like the goals have to be that. How do we build this? How do we push this forward? And it's a we thing. It's not just like, yo, you could be the best producer in the game. Like hands down right now to me, Matias is the best producer in Mubaton. Shout out. Hands down. 100%. The best producer. But Mubaton doesn't. And even his career as a Moomatone artist doesn't reach the next level if he doesn't do something with the community. Mm-hmm. Like, we all need to band together for everybody to move forward, for him to move forward. Unless he, you know, he's going to leave and, and, you know, now he's going to make 130 BPM house and stuff like that. Like, as a Moomatone artist, as the best Moomatone artist right now, like, we need to be propping this guy up to win. Yeah. Because he wins, then we win. You right. know? That, op- that pushes him to the next level. That opens the door for this, for that. The next person can step through. Like, we all have right. to be supporting each other. Like, bro, like, that shit is so important, bro. Like, so fucking important. Like, I hope there's space for it, man. That's the thing that worries me. It's just like, is there space for and it? And that's why I said, like, we need to disconnect. And and maybe disconnect is, is too uh, definitive as a word, but maybe figure out what it looks like outside as a grassroots movement we talked about this selection like yeah. how selection is like their own thing mm-hmm. they, they we've seen we seen the names on festivals like selection has a stage mm-hmm. you know not this is the lo-fi mixed with hip-hop you know like stage it's the selection stage right and you know when you 